Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Gunsmith. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I am at five and a half million dollars. So, yeah, I'm having a pretty good day. And I've got all the licenses I need, and I think pretty much all the research done, right? Yeah, I can kind of make whatever I want now. So I don't really care about reputation, do I? No, not at all. I also have a thousand RP left over, because, you know, I let research go on a little bit too long. I've been at zero percent of my research budget for a very long time. I just kind of let research go, man. All right. So, in the last video, we spent a lot of time with chemicals. My concern is that I don't actually have enough room to do chemicals here. I'm hoping I do, but I don't think I do. One thing I could do is maybe get it over here. So, how much gun cotton do we have in storage right now? 200. It's not going to last us a very long time. This has... Uh, see, look at the bottleneck here, right? So many bullets just waiting to be made. But we have to keep waiting for the gun cotton. Oh, it's terrible. That's why I want to fix that. So, what we're going to do, right, is we're going to go ahead and I want to basically get rid of everything that's here. I'm going to get rid of this entire station. Uh, I'm going to get rid of not this station, but I do want to get rid of that on you. And then who is controlling the rest of this? It's you. So get rid of that and that. I think that's all of it. And then I want to see who's controlling all of this. It would be you. We could just get rid of this entire station, I think. Yes. Goodbye. And let's just go ahead and kill all of this. I know it's probably not the best. But let's do that anyway. Let's kill it all. Because our template can just pop right in there. So, like, whatever. I don't care. Uh, at least this is a good here. Good. Might want to be able to shift all this down later. I don't know. We'll get rid of all of this stuff. It's not necessary anymore. I mean, yes, we're going to rebuy that equipment. So it'd be probably better to use it. But we have our template of how we want these machines to be. Now it's just a matter of getting it into the space. And I, I just find it easier if I start with a clean slate and just bring in the template. I just, I just find it to be easier that way. That's why I'm doing it this way. All right, let's take this tool bench and we'll maybe move it over here. Uh, that's kind of a silly spot for it. I don't want to put it anywhere where it's going to be in the way of repairs, though. Uh, over here, over here, maybe over here. I don't know. There's already a tool bench there. How about over here? Let's just put it here for now. Whatever. Okay. I'll stick you over here out of my way, too. So this is the space I have to work with. I could probably get a little bit more space out of it if I went like this, though. Just move this just a little bit more that way, like so. All right, this is my space. Hi. Go to global tab. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. We're going to grab nitro two to thirds. Nitro two to three. Two, three, right? And we're going to pop that. I think right here is a good spot for you. So we'll pop you there. And I'm hoping there's enough room here. Oh, it's very close. I think I can fit that. If I move you, if I move you, I think we can fit that. I'll move you right over here. Now, I think with you moved there, I can put in another of the nitro, two thirds, right here. I just have to make sure there's enough room for repairs. And there kind of isn't. Not really. Might be able to scooch this a little bit more, but it's not really a whole lot of room here, man. Maybe my gun cotton setup can go there instead. We'll go like this with you instead. We'll have you be right like this. There's enough room to walk through there. Enough room to walk through there. Okay, that will, that'll do. That'll do. Hoover this up. So now my gun cotton setup has to come through here. Now the gun cotton setup... Uh, nope, not control groups. Scroll down through templates. Gun cotton three-fourths. 
Oh, it's so, it's so bad. It's not enough space. It's not enough space, guys. I needed it right here. I just really needed it right there. I'm gonna uh, pick this up and move it. We might have to rearrange sort of how the machines fit to the belts. That's an option as well, because it doesn't necessarily have to be this arrangement. But, like, if I put this here, for example... There's just, like, no room to get in. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess there kind of is. It's just really tight. The most important part is that we have space on this side and space here. Uh, and also this space here, I believe they can get in there. If they can't, then I can scoot this over. I have the space to do so. Uh, same thing with over here. I have the space to do so. If I remove the tool bench, which honestly is probably in the way anyway at this point. So we'll stick you uh, over like this. Sounds good. Okay. Now can the gun cotton work? Pretty, pretty please. We have... Uh, Six, three, and three. Oh, we're supposed to do, we're supposed to do two sets of this. Yeah, that's just so cramped, man. Well, we have all of this. We just moved all these machines. We could move the entire factory this way, or I could just do more chemicals this direction. Why don't we do that? Oh, this is much better. Hang on, this is much better, much better. Go like this. Excuse me. Pick you up. Want to pick all? Come on now. Pick all of this up. I forgot about that space over there. I don't know why. I just did. Okay? Just who I am. The forgetful one. Okay? It's my nickname. The forgetful one. Don't forget it. Uh, right here ought to do. Just fine. Yes, I believe that'll do just fine. And then we'll hoover this. I want to start this. Of course, all this is already set up to be the right materials in the right order. So... We really just have to turn it on, which is what we're going to do with a new station. If I grab this, go to station, go to station, go to station. Where's the one where I add station? Oh, I, I deleted the station. That's right. So, wait, I just made a new station. Darn it. I'm sure I just made a new station. Didn't I just click the button to? Yeah, it's at the top now. Okay, so come up here and go like that. We're going to assign one of the existing employees instead of hiring a new one. And we'll just connect you up to this. And hit go. And now we'll have chemicals being made. Or gun, you know, yeah, 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 nitrocellulose being made. Then we're going to move you over here, get, out, get you out of my way. And put in our gun cotton three to four. Does you, do you fit? All right, you know what? The gun cotton's going to have to go on the other side. Because there's just not enough room for it. So, let's come back over here. Oh, space management is going to get me every time. Here we go. And we'll just go like that. Let's get rid of the toolbox. toolbox. And we'll shift you all the way down to here. And there should be no... Totally should be enough room to fit you. As long as you guys get the hell out of my way. Uh, let's flip you over and put you in like this. Sounds good. I mean, it's right on that door, though. So, I don't know if I like that. But it does work. Let me just move this chair out of the way. And we'll flip this around so that it's not right on that door. I would, I mean, it doesn't probably doesn't matter gameplay meta-wise. But it matters to me, okay? My personal feelings on the matter is that it matters. Got, got it? Get out of my way. Good enough. Okay? Do you have space? No. Stop. You. You're 8 out of 16, so you should be able to take the rest of these. There we go. Perfect. Turn them on. And let the magic begin. All that's being made now. What do you think about it? I think I'm trapped. I, I believe you. Here, get out of here. Now, the real question is, can they actually get back here to repair? And, like, I'm not super confident that they can. I should probably move this over one. Uh, I'm going to. Let's move it over one. Shut down. Hoover it up. Any remaining particles that are lingering. And we'll just move it over a little bit more. Just a wee bit more. 
so that they can move between this. There we go. Okay, now we can turn it back on. It's on. Okay, come on down here. And this big old open space here is where we're going to put the gun cotton stuff. So, gun cotton three to four should face here. And we'll just pop it in right like so. Good. Flip it around. Oh, it fits with uh, flying colors, actually. It fits really well. Plenty of space, man. Let's match it up on this side. Oh, I can see everything here. That's good. Uh, right here ought to do it. Okay. Then all we need is somebody to match this, uh, to, to manage these machines. So we're just going to go to our stations. Make sure there's no empty stations. Good. And then we're adding that station back, let's say, over here. And then I want to put on somebody who's already hired. There we go. And add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Crap. There's ten machines in each one of these, which means I need two stations. I'll just do it anyway. Two stations. Add station to here. Is there anyone that's not on a station? No. So we hire a new person. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let her rip. You turn it on. And now we should have glorious gun cotton production happening very quickly. This is a little bit too close. I want to move this back just a tad. Just a tad. Let's move this back. Which is going to make a mess. So we'll shut this down first. Shut the line down first. Hoover up all the stuff that's lingering on the belts. Okay. Then we're going to grab all of this stuff. Yep. And we're just going to scoot it back just a little bit. About like that. That ought to do it. Turn it back on. Profit. Piece of cake. So with the gun cotton production improved, now we can look at turning all these machines on. And we can really start getting bullets hammered out now, right? Now, all of these are set for 9mm still, right? I haven't done that yet because I was so focused on the chemicals. So, let's say we leave this as 9mm. This one can be transitioned to 45. So, we'll just kind of switch it up. 45. Uh, 45 punched. Right? No, 45 formed is what we want out of this machine. Yes, 45 formed. And then you're distributing one gun cotton every four seconds. You're distributing it every two seconds, and you're a two-second craft. So we actually want a second dispenser on this as well, which is going to get expensive. This is where things start to get really pricey. I'm actually not sure about that because it's dead on, right? So... We probably want to stagger this just a tad. We can do that by maybe positioning this like this. So there's room for repairs. And then just kind of going like this. And that will give us two. Yeah, that'll be fine. So you're going to output nitrocellulose. Do we not have any left? Or, sorry, gun cotton. What am I thinking? Yeah, gun cotton. Which we still don't have any left. Uh, are we not making gun cotton? What's going on? Did I mess up? Hold on. Did I mess this up? Oh, you know what? It's, it's this. It's the market. Yeah, yeah, we don't have any of this. My automation rules are inactive again. Why does it keep shutting down? I have two marketer guys. I got two of them, right? There's two guys in a suit. I'm sure of it. All right, where's my market manager guy? He's fired. Wherever he is, he's fired. That guy is sleeping on the job. It doesn't look like I have one. What happened to my guy? Market manager, please. There, now I've, I've hired a new one. I don't know what happened to my guy. Whatever, get in here, man. 
market. Cellulose S. Let's buy like 600 of these to start off with. Can I type in here? Oh, good. Uh, buy 600 of these, buy 600 of these. And let's buy, uh, we'll say five brass rolls. That'll start us off. Automation rules on. Thank you. Okay. No gun cotton available. I have to wait until we have gun cotton and before I can set these to dispense. Right? Because that's just how this works. You are going to have the same thing. We're going to need to get another chemicals dispenser for you. And we can set you kind of about like this. Just enough to create some sort of a separation is what I'm looking for. So that should be fine. And then this side is going to be, let's say, uh, we go 9 millimeter, 45. This one will be 556. Five, this one will be... Uh, tw let's make... Let's make this one 22. This one can be 556. Five, so you're going to be this. And this. And this. And then you are going to output 556 five, formed. Bam. Okay. You're going to output gun cotton. There it is. You're going to output gun cotton. There it is. Good. And then you're going to be... This guy's going to be 22. So 22... 22, 22, and 22 formed. Uh, one more time, we need another chemical dispenser. So we're gonna maybe put it right here. Should be okay. It's kind of good distance between these two things, right? And then we stick this here and this like that. Very good. Okay, dual chemical dispensers, I like it. This side here is going to need the same treatment. So we'll go about like, let's say like this. And same thing with the belt. We're going to bring you, it's going to be this way and like that. And then again, you output gun cotton and you output gun cotton. Okay. Are we good here? Gun cotton, gun cotton. Good. Now, if this is the 50 millimeter, right? then this is going to output four sets of gun cotton so that it doesn't have to slow down, right? So this is the 50, unless this was the 50. No, we haven't said it yet. So this is the 50. It's going to go like this and 50 like that and 50 formed like that. There's like a thousand bullets just sitting there in limbo, you know? Sell all the things... So we're not bankrupt. We got 5.2 million. We have been losing money on this, though, because we've been spending it, you know. How are we doing on gun cotton supply? 76. Okay. So our total stock is going up, which is great. Now we're going to start using it over here, right? We want to produce more than we're using, uh, at least for that resource. This one's going to be tricky. This one's going to be tricky. Why don't we make this the 762? Because I can get more chemicals in here. I don't really have a whole lot of room for more chemicals here. So I'm going to leave this as the 9mm. Switch this to being the 762. Switch all these machines to 762. And here we go. Now, this requires the two gun cotton for every one. So we need four chemicals dispensers because these are double, these are double um, the output speed. So I have two machines to match the one, but this requires two gun cotton inputs. So it requires double the resources. In order to match this, I need four times the machines. So that's why we're gonna do chemicals dispensers here. And, holy oh crap, man. Where is it coming from? Maybe I do a wraparound belt? Or we just move the tool bench. I think we could just move the tool bench. Tool bench. Just keep it like this and then put the thing here. That could work. If I slam it up 
like that it could work. I just get this tool bench out of here. The tool bench can be moved somewhere else. How about we stick it over here? It's there's already a tool bench there. I'm trying to give these guys as many like ways of getting their tools as I can, but I'm getting real close to the power on that side. So they're just going to have to get them from somewhere else. Because I'm going to put this like that. Yeah, they're going to have to get their tools from somewhere else, unfortunately. Uh, okay, so four chemical belts. We're going to just have these staggered, of course. And then... Or chemical dispensers, I suppose they're actually called. Okay, good. Again, we output gun cotton. Gun cotton, gun cotton all day long. Okay. You're 762 now. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we should start shooting some of these machines out if we want to. Um, even the 9mm, though, is still going to need one extra chemicals dispenser. And I'm thinking how to get that. I could shift you back down. That would give me space. It could. I'm thinking about it. The only thing else I could do is something like this, but that cuts off the walkway. I was hoping not to do that. But if I did this, I wonder if this fits. I have to do it like that, which is really tight fit. And it cuts off the walkway entirely on this side. Let's move this. Yeah, this is going to make a mess, unfortunately, which means I'm going to have to clean it up. So why don't we just shut the, shut, the, shut the line down first and then hoover this up so we don't lose any of it. And then we can move this. Like this and like this. And then we just move it to where it's like this instead. Gives me a little bit of extra space. And it's not much, but it is something. I think it's enough anyway. Because I could also go like this now. It's not efficient with belt space. And what about here? I think this is okay. It just removes the walkways. I'm trying to avoid that. How about that? We get, we get walking distance through here, and then we go like this. Should be enough for just a little belt, right? No, it's not. Okay, so we go like that, and then we butt this up against that and call it good. Now there's a two for one here. You're outputting gun cotton. And nine, nine, nine. Excellent. Okay, you are 50. Good. We already set that machine up. You are what? 22. You're 556. Five, You're 45. And you are 762. All we need now are the stations to operate them. So, uh, let's turn this, turn this line back on. And we should start getting gun cotton made again there. And then uh, I think this factory is done as soon as I get this set up because we're kind of full. <laughs> like, we're just really full now. So bring this, make a new station. Add you, I guess. We'll bring you all the way to the edge here. And we're definitely going to need more power. I th I'm pretty sure we're going to need more power here. We're definitely going to need more utilities, I'll tell you that. Uh, so this is to make the 50s. Everything looks solid here. This this is eight machines, so I can probably I can probably do the other ones too, like that. Yep, fourteen machines. But now I can't turn the line on without more cooling. So let's see about where to put the additional utilities. We can stack it along this wall. It'll fit. One, two. We're probably going to need... Uh, you know what? Don't count on the need for more of that. Let's let's not assume that we need more on that. Um, we can put more power here. So I'm sure we're going to need that too. And then I want to stop this from being highlighted. Just, just annoys me. 
All right, all of this is on. We can turn it on, and we should see, by doing so, nine millimeter, and yeah, gun cotton's gonna start getting kicked out. Beautiful. The ratios are solid. We're still pumping nine millimeters faster. Why? Two second, four second, four second. I don't get it. Okay, never mind. It is going down, so it's it's still we're solid. This already must have already had a bullet in there. Uh, how does the? Oh, what is going on here? Got a bit of a roadblock happening. Oh, that's why. I can fix that. I can fix that. Shut this down. Shut this down. Let's hoover this up. Uh, we're going to take you and make you a angled belt like that. That'll fix that problem. It actually uses less power, too. It's one dollar more maintenance, but it's also less power. Which, at this point, I think power is probably the best thing to regulate anyway. So that should take care of the roadblock. We'll see. Indeed it does. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it lovely, folks? This doesn't seem to be necessary. I wonder if I can get rid of that belt. I think I can. Yeah, it scoots over, so we're good. Okay, so 50s are being made. Excellent. Nine millimeters are being made. Excellent. Let's get another station. And I want to put you, let's say, over here. It's fine. And you are going to manage this, which is eight stations. Outstanding. And then you're also going to manage this. Okay, that's 14 stations. Very good. We can switch this on, I think. But we might have a collision here. We've got to take a look at it, make sure. Seems pretty good so far. I don't have a problem with that. Over here, how are we doing? Pretty good, okay. Uh, and then the final thing is these two in the middle here. So we'll get another mach another uh, station. One last station for the road. Go, let's say, here. Should be sufficient. And then you're going to manage uh, this, 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 and this. Okay. Now we need more power. And we also do need a little bit more gas, unfortunately. Okay. Let's go ahead and make some sales. We should be pumping out bullets like crazy in a second here. And then the bullet boxes, of course, come through here. And you can see we have, well, at least for some of the bullets, we have extra 9mm. Like, all the ones we started producing already, we're starting to build up a little bit of a surplus, which is good. I'd rather have that than waiting. Um, so let's grab one more gas. One more heat. And then also... Two more things for power. I believe that's all I need is just those two. Turn stations on. And we are ending this with 12 power under... No, 112 power under capacity. Whoa, hang on. I don't need this. In the long run, it serves me better to delete that. In the short term, it means I lost $1,000. But in the long term, it'll pay for itself by deleting that. Okay, every every machine is on, and we are producing, all right? We are producers of bullets now, and it's legit, okay? I think this is an optimum flow for bullets, guys. I'm proud of it. Whether you are or not, I guess I don't care. Tell me, tell me my wrongs, chat. <laughs> But I'm, I'm pretty proud of this. I think this is a good, solid factory. Entirely for bullets. The entire factory is nothing but bullets. And that feels pretty good. Now, just to make sure the machines are getting repaired, I want to make sure my repair routes are covering the new 
uh, the new stuff. So I'm just going to get a route put in that brings repair people kind of around to these new machines just to take a look at them, you know? Make sure we've got people staffed on that. And then we'll do the same with... No, it looks like we got people hanging out over there anyway. Got people there. Good. Over here. Pretty good. I think I'd rather edit one of these. Uh, it's going to be this one. We edit this one. And then we just have you, you know, do one of these instead. And that's that. And that is that. Let's add like a couple more of these mechanics just so we're good and covered and make sure that we're staffed on each of these. So we've got everybody working it, I think. One, two, three, four. Sorry, that's eight. That's two, four, six, eight. So you only have eight mechanics or what? Let's just add three more to the mix. We should get them staffed. And then that's it. That's my bullet factory. I like it. All right, it's good. So next, what are we doing next? Well, I think it's probably best to do the bigger guns next. Personally, I, I would like to do the bigger guns. Okay. I would also like to accept all these orders for the stuff that we're actually making. And to sell it all for the war effort on both sides. There we go. Look at that. Ah, uh, that's right. What up? Look at all these bullets. They're not a bottleneck anymore. We're at $6 million now. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, come back out to the globe. And what I think I want to do is make another factory in the United States for firearms. And... I want to start making the big rifles, okay? And I don't know what that's going to take, but I want to start making the big rifles. So, why don't we save it here and then shift into our sandbox save so we can play around with rifles and how they work and how they go together, and we can implement that into this factory all in one go. So let's go. All right, we're back in the sandbox. Let's make some rifles if we can. Uh, let's check out the cookbook and we're gonna go to the rifle mark one. This is gonna be very complicated, okay? This is uh, hopefully gonna make us a lot of money though because of how much effort it takes. So looks like we're gonna have to make a bunch of gun components. I kind of figured that. We have a gun component template, so we'll just defer to that for that part. Uh, we're gonna want to, let's see. Metal bars are good for the stock body. Mark one grip. You know what we should do? Like, there's there's so many bars for this stuff. I think we just make a mass, like over in the corner or something. We just make tons of metal bars. Like, just have them. I don't even know if it's gonna be. Like, we'll do it like we did uh, uh, the plastic fittings, right? We just make a ton of fittings and we just use them on everything with dispensers. I think we're just gonna have to do that. So, uh, let's see, let's take a look here. What's the formula here? Uh, I mean, I mean for these, I guess I won't know until I get to the milling machine. So we'll start with two dispensers and a metal, metal former. So let's see the formula here. So we're looking at output for metal bar is four seconds and the output for aluminum blocks and steel blocks are two seconds a piece, okay. So assuming this counts as one, and not assuming because that's what it is, that's the input, this counts as one, we will need two metal formers for one of this. But we can't do the two-way splitter because then one machine will get one resource and one machine will get the other. So we have to scale this out until it uh, makes sense. You know what, actually... You know, I, I think, doesn't our chemicals thing get away with this? This is a two to three ratio. I wonder. We use this as a template. Four of these for three of these. 
doesn't work real well, I don't think. But what about two of these for four of these? Eh. I don't know if this will work. We may have to just suck it up and have just a little bit of extra production. Because I don't think you can divide these evenly. This is a two to one ratio. And, uh, like, I guess the three way splitter going off into. If we use a three way splitter, we need at least six dispensers. Which would mean we need six of these. So six dispensers would need to go into two three-way splitters. So I would need to have a two-way that divides out into the three-way. And there's like no way to make those resources evenly distributed amongst it. So I think the best course of action here is just to go four and three on these. And just suck it up to the fact that we have a little bit of extra production and we'll have a little bit of extra being stored in the machines on one of the resources. But we need that because it's like A, A, B, B, right? So A, A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A, A, B, B. And it just keeps sliding down to where it's evenly distributed. We're going to need to have that. So um, we'll use this as our sort of our model. Yeah, I think we're going to have to. So let's get, uh, let's see, two resources next to each other. We'll get one on the side. Actually, I can if I, if I do this, this is how I did the chemical one before when I was looking at my other belt setup. I uh, I put this like this, and then all I did is I swapped this out, brought it straight over. I won't be able to do that now because of that chemical dispenser. So we'll move that too. And then we just slide all of these in position. there okay get rid of this 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 and this and now it's a matter of getting the formers to fit we can't use this template for the formers to fit but we have the basis we have the basics of what we want right now so why don't we go ahead and just do this really quick and move this over here where we're already messing with it now we're gonna want to take the former probably do that and then another former is going to need to be... Uh, these are weird looking machines. What about here? Can we do it like maybe this? And then it comes out this side. And then the last former can be on this side. It goes off that way. Is that how we have to do it? It's because of the shape of the machine. Uh, I think if I went like... Yeah, we're going to have to do a two-way belt there. Or I can flip this over. I mean, what's what's stopping me from just doing this? It's, it's more efficient with the belts, right? If we just go head on with this anyway. Maybe we stick it out a little bit. Like we go out like this just a tad bit more. This is more efficient with the belt, I think. Then we make it go like that. And then make it go like that. And then slide this over like that. There. And that goes there. And then on this side... Uh, honestly, I think we just flip this over. Kind of like this. Uh, we need room to make sure... Yep, we have it. We just want to make sure that the uh, repairs can happen. Actually, can the repairs happen here if I do that? I don't think so. I'm going to I'm gonna shift it this way just so we don't get in the way of repairs. And then uh, probably going to want a little belt to bring it up that way. And then we'll just lock that down like that. There we go. Good. And then we will go like this and pop that there. So this is like our... This is our template for mass producing... Metal bars, basically. Metal bar and metal bar. Thankfully, I won't need to make an SA body or anything this time, so that's good. Aluminum blocks, aluminum blocks. And then we want to do steel blocks and steel blocks. But here's the, th here's the catch. The steel blocks 
have to fully pass through the aluminum blocks before the aluminum blocks come back out. And we only have two seconds this time instead of four. Before we had time because the chemical dispensers are four seconds each. It, it took enough time, but now we don't have that luxury. So what I actually have to do is I have to rework how these belts are, which is okay because that's not exactly the most power efficient way to do it anyway. So I'm going to butt this up against the there. And I'm just going to slide that over a little bit. And this should take care of it, I think. I think that should do it. So let's test this out if we can. We're going to grab you. Uh, not you. You. And we'll add these machines to this list. And then I think we just turn it on and see what happens. So we should see aluminum blocks coming out first, followed by the steel. And they should alternate in where they come out. And they should also, I guess, flip on their side. That's the thing that they can do too, I guess. Oh, wait, this... Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's... Okay, hold on. Pause the line. Mm, my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. It's my bad. It's fine. There we go. Okay. Uh, start again. Here we go. Let's see. So, again. A, A, B, B. A, A, B, B. A, A, B, B. It alternates. So, these machines should be getting one for one. Sometimes they'll get two of a resource before they get the other one, but the next time through, they'll get two of the other resource before the other one, and it'll all equal out. So that's why sometimes we're going to see, you know, one of these numbers are going to end up getting, but it's all going to equal, right? You can see how this is, this is kind of staying with it, right? And that's what we're looking for. So this template can be used to basically spam this. If I spam this template, we'll be making a ton of, um, metal bars and then we can kick the metal bars out throughout all these other machines where we need them i think that's going to be way more efficient um so let's save this as a metal bar spam sounds good to me and then assuming that that just works we can pick it up and pop it in again uh we can actually do it like this too so they kind of hug each other in space or in that space i guess uh, let's take a look. This is eight. Perfect. So actually, because it's exactly eight machines, one of these stations can manage exactly two of them. That's pretty efficient, too. All right. So let's just have metal bars getting spammed for now. Okay. Move on to the next part of this operation. And that is, uh, well, aside from the gun cotton, it's all these milling machines. Okay. Now we're going to need one two, three, four, five, six milling machines, plus an extra one for the barrel. But let's, for this interesting part here with the metal bars, what I'm looking for, I want six of these, okay? And this thing gets, gets in my way. So six of these machines, each one doing something different for the rifle. So I need to see what those components are. We have to make the uh, rifle Mark One stock. So we'll just go down the list, I guess, with this side. You're going to do the stock. And it's going to be all the way down at the end, I think, here. Stock, good. You are going to do the body. There we go. You are going to do the grip. There we go. You are going to do the mag. That's MMG. Uh, rifle mag. Here we go. You are going to do the uh, forward stock. There we go. And you are going to do the top barrel. There we... Uh, top barrel. This. Yep. Okay. So let's take a look and see what we're dealing with as far as crafting times. It looks like it's two seconds on every single component here. Whew, that makes things way easier. So with two seconds for everything here, we can do three-way splitters and uh, just bang it all out in nice uh, cohesive fashion here. So if I wanted to, I could do a, a three-way splitter here, right? There and there. 
And since it's all two seconds, well, now we have to see how, how long does it take to dispense a metal bar? <laughs> Is it gonna screw me up on that though? Like, am I gonna have that kind of a problem? Metal bar. Uh, two seconds, good. <sighs> all right, so let's get that going. So this, we want, I guess it'd be three of these, right? Well, no, we don't need that. We don't need the splitters. No, 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 we actually don't need this. What do we need the splitters for? We just do this. It's two seconds on everything. We just do this, right? I'm not crazy, right? This is this is way more efficient. We just do that. That's That simplifies the entire process. Cool. Uh, okay, good. And then we can mass produce these if we want to as well. I don't know if we have the resources to do that though, so we'll have to check, but it'd be nice to have like two extra rows of this. How many bars are we producing? So it looks like, see how we're over, like the over inputs, right? They're even, they are good that way, they're even, but we're over producing them. And that's just because we can't get two to one ratio on these. There's no way to get a two to one ratio with machines unless there was a four-way splitter. Then we could pull it off. But there isn't going to be a four-way splitter. So we can't. Unfortunately. Actually, I'm not entirely sure a four-way splitter would do it. What we really need is a two-way splitter that's smart and can say, you know, always alternates the resources it kicks out. So it can put A out one, B out the other, and then it detects that the last time it got A, so it sends A to the, to the other side. So effectively, we can, if, if we had a splitter that was smart, we would go boom, boom, boom. It, it, would, it would do this instead, which is what the dumb one is doing. But instead, we would have a splitter that could go like this, like this, then like this again, then back to here, then over to here, then back to here, then over to here, and then back to here. That would be better. If it did two out each side, we could make that work, but we can't. So I think this is all good. So since we're making, this is a crafting speed of four seconds. Uh, so it looks like we're making one metal bar every, uh, well, there's six of them here, right? Yeah. Six metal bars every four seconds. So if that's the case, we can have one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, that's perfect. It's like I planned it that way. Go this way and just pop you there. Okay, there's our production for rifle parts. <laughs> Piece of cake. Now, here's the question, though. In the cookbook, we want to go and put all of these, all of these parts, including the barrel. And that's the thing that I think might take extra time. So let me just look at that really quick. If I pop this here, right, that's the milling machine for the barrel. What we are going to need is a hammer forge. The hammer forge has to make metal cylinders. That's a two-second crafting speed as well, but the barrel, I think, is going to be more because this game likes to do that to you. So let's look at this. Also two seconds. Okay. Okay. So we could go like this, and um, we just kick these out. This is, this is actually very easy. Wow. I didn't think that was going to be this easy. Surely there's something in the back end that makes this more difficult, right? Like, they actually are... I mean, it's this part here that kind of screws with you. But if you could just have this being produced independently, since you know everything needs them anyway. Right? Make sure this is metal bars. This is metal bars. We already have 4,000 of them made. That's pretty sick. Uh, and all of these are selected already, too. Let's get... You two are going to make... Right? Go like this, and I want you to just go like this. And then I need uh, recycle bins on each of these machines, like that. Now, I won't actually be doing recycle bins on all the machines. What I'll actually be doing is having a belt that runs all the way through here, and then gets distributed to uh, the, the heat 
which is uh, two by two, right? Or no, it's four by four with this machine, right? Double checking cookbook, four heat, four cooling. So most likely we can get away with, we'll have to shake them, won't we? Or no? It doesn't look like anything needs shaken. The gun components also need to come through here, but they don't need to come through the heat. So they just get run through the anodizer and then to the gun merger machine, which is over here. And then the anodizer will be over here. Right? And then the heat will want just a Mark II heater. It needs four levels of heat though, which isn't a big deal. I think two of, two of these is less expensive than two of these. And then two of the coolers is less expensive, right? So what we could do is just have the anodizer run here for space, for space reasons, right? We go like this. And then we go like this. We actually could move this down a little bit. It goes to about here. Uh, let's go about, about here. Like this. And then we want to go like that, like that. Uh, is that necessary? I think so. Yeah. Unless it's going to let me do this. It does. Okay, good. Okay, so we can do that. I don't think it works this way because of the way these are built. They won't let me go up next to it. You have to go at least one out. Which, I mean, I guess it does technically save space to do this. So I guess we could just do that. It just looks weird, but I'll make it work. It's fine. So all this stuff runs through the anodizer. And it's going to go like this. It needs a belt to run into it. So we'll go like this. There we go. And on this side, actually, on this side, we will have dispensers kicking out the gun components. So this... There'll be, I think, probably two dispensers here, I think, for gun components. We'll have to see how the timings work. But if you're kicking out gun components... I don't even know where it is. Right here. It's one second. Yeah. That's pretty fast. So maybe not. It just depends on how much you need. This is all getting merged into the Rifle Mark I merged. So this... So you're going to need one, 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 and 12. That's the ticket there. 12 gun components. Okay. a Lots of them. Good. So with all of these coming out in two seconds, we'll need, somehow we're going to need 12 of these to come out in two seconds. That means I need six dispensers for gun components. Okay, then. The gun components do not need run through the cooling, but it doesn't matter if they run through the cooling. Like they don't need it, but it doesn't matter if they do. So I'll just ignore the fact that this is going through cooling because it doesn't matter. And we'll pop, uh, you know what? I'm gonna have to want to probably space this out a little bit like that. And then we'll want another one. So we'll go like that and like, uh, on the end like this so this will go like that like that and like that now they can repair each one that is six dispensers for gun components each one is distributing one per one second which means we're going to get 12 every two seconds perfect ratio for assembling weapons perfect okay so with all of this done we can actually go ahead and demolish this, 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 this. And let's get the belt set up. Because remember, we can't... Well, we can. We can distribute these. But setting up dispensers is actually going to be more expensive than setting up the belts. So we're just going to do this with belts instead. And normally I'd say, well, there's a problem with repairs. But we actually have a space to walk behind because we're doing it with dispensers here, 
we can walk behind these and then they can repair them easily. So, yeah. Come to like this. Slide that in there. This is going to be here. I thought maybe we could have it be like this, though. Yeah. We'll have to move up all these machines. I'd rather move them up than these up. No, because this is spaced out appropriately. It's already spaced out how we want back there. So let's just kind of shift these forward. Like so. Shift these. Like so. And we also want... Mm. This collision is going to create a huge bottleneck, though. Do I really want to deal with a bottleneck like that? I could get away with it if I elevated this belt, which it just means I have to separate these a bit more. So what I could do, I guess, is move you over like so. And then just have an elevated belt right here. That would take care of any collisions. All right. And then we go like that. Okay. I think we're ready to test it. We just need gun components, which I have a whole bunch of, I think, right? Gun components. I have 390. It's enough to test it, right? It's just enough to test the design. We can make more gun components pretty easily, but I already have the template for that, so I'm not bothered with it. Okay. So the process is... We output aluminum blocks from one of you, steel blocks from the other. You go into this, you form a metal cylinder. Metal cylinder then gets uh, crafted into a Mark I barrel, gets sent down the line. Each one of you are crafting one of the six components we need for the, uh, for the assault rifle. So there it is. And you're all using the metal bars that are being constantly produced here. Okay. You come down the heaters. You get heated to level four. Turn this way, get cooled level four go into the anodizer and then from the anodizer you need to go directly to this and get assembled and this is going to uh, assemble the guns so we'll just put that there and call that good and then those guns that are assembled get kicked out on this side into a recycle bin there okay you are making Mark One merged. You're just anodizing things. You're not doing anything. You're all. This is all set. Now I need the stations. So give me one second here. Put you here, and you are going to control these. That is uh, six, seven, eight. Then you're going to control one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. You can control this entire section right here. Sounds nice. We need another sec another station. Bring you over here. And you are gonna control one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, turn these on first. And then turn all of these on. Okay. We're ready to rock, folks. Let's see what we get. Gun components are all just kind of flowing down. Again, it doesn't matter if they get cooled or heated or anything. It, it doesn't matter. Uh, whoops. Frick. Uh, let's pause this. I didn't, I didn't scoot this back yet. I'm dumb. Hold on. Hold on. Just wipe this off. We don't want them to be wasted. We don't want them to be wasted. Here we go. Okay. And then we are going to scoot this all back. Like so. Just highlight all of this. And we're going to move it like that. All right. Now we're ready to turn it on. Turn this on. And then turn this on. Let's see what we get. I want to see assault rifles. This is going to be beautiful, guys. This, this here actually I think is turning out really well. All these go into the heater. No collisions. That elevated belt. Slapping them on top if there's ever any conflict, which looks like they're actually alternating timings right now, too. 
So there wouldn't have been a much of a collision anyway. Because they come in, and then when they're done, this comes in. So that's kind of nice. All the gun components are coming through. Little collisions there kind of don't matter. They're just tiny little parts. All of them go into the anodizer. They can, they get all anodized, and they come into this, this machine here. We get all the parts. We're not getting barrels. Why aren't we getting barrels? We're getting everything else except barrels. Wait. All right, hang on. Why am I not getting barrels? It's falling between... They're falling between the belts? Are you kidding me? You silly bitch. <laughs> really? They're falling between the belts? That's... I've never seen that happen before. Wow. Not even impressed. That's amazing. It's still gonna do it. Wow. I've never seen that before. That's an interesting little quirk. Okay. All right, then. Uh, well, we can fix that. We'll just go ahead and go like this. And uh, we'll go ahead and move it over to here. There you go. As soon as the guy gets out of my way. There we go. Okay, then. I've, ne <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. I just didn't expect it. All right. Turn them back on, please. I want to see it go. Now now we have a problem because everything is... As long as these values remain fairly consistent, 42, 42, 40, 43, 40, 43, like as long as these remain pretty consistent in a ratio to the barrel, I can prove that it's still like one for one, which I mean, it pretty much is. The outputs on these are all the same. So now the barrels... See, it, it can fall through the belts, but it, it doesn't fall through the belts here though. That's kind of interesting. Up it goes, goes into the anodizer, gets anodized, gets kicked out, and assembled into a Mark I rifle merged, which then somehow goes over the recycle bin. <laughs> okay, this is an interesting little... This is interesting. Let's, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine, cool. Uh, we'll go like this. They just don't quite go in there. <laughs> like, like they just don't go in. Look at that. They're not going in inventory. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's weird. Are you telling me the Mark One rifles aren't going to go in recycle bins? Is that what I'm? Is that what I'm seeing right now? They're not going to go in recycle bins. That's so weird. So, what do we do then? I guess we have to just go off the line from this? If they're not gonna go... I mean... Now gun components are gone. Yeah, we can't build anymore. Because I don't have any gun components now. Well, I mean, we've, we proved this worked. I, I'm just not sure about the, the rifles not going in the recycle bin. That's a little bit weird. I've never seen that. Like, we've never had a product that didn't go into the recycle bin. I mean, it's not that difficult. I guess we just kick it directly to the boxer. Right off the machine. Right? We go right off the right into the boxer immediately. This boxes rifles at what pace? Two seconds. So, it's all the same. We put it directly into the boxer. And we kick that out into the recycle bin. And that's how we'll do it. Instead. So messed up. Okay, so that's our that's our workflow, guys. That's gonna be our workflow for the Mark One rifles, huh? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty stoked about this. And look at this. The whole thing is condensed into this size, which means we can go again and again and again with this. That's super efficient, man. That's that's it. This is the rifle production. You know, I'm. Super pumped. Okay. So what do we want to focus on next? I guess maybe we try the MM we could try those um uh the MMG SMG, right? Which takes a bunch of metal bars, which we're producing rapidly. Honestly, at this point, this is pretty easy. 
yeah. This is a, this is a cakewalk. Because if we just use, we just have, we just have like this big metal bar, honestly. We do this two more times. We could do this two more times. We'll have enough metal bars and storage to facilitate every gun. All one factory. I'm excited. Let's implement that in the next video. Huh? What do you think? Come on back for the next one. We'll implement this. And I think we're going to be making every single kind of gun. By the end of the next video, I want to be making every single kind of gun. So uh, this is a great workflow. I'm, I'm digging it. Take care, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.